A very good day to all. My name is Camille. My name is Louis, and we are here to present to you our project. The content of our presentation is as follows. First, the idea of the project. Second, the working principle of our project. That's right indeed. Allow me to explain the idea of our project. As mentioned in our report, we found that the sun is a great source of energy, and the only way to harness this energy for our own use is through solar cells. However, as our project wishes to find the optimal food dye for a dye sun solar cell, it seems that we have to be able to control the luminosity of light that is shown on the cell so that we can have a fair and unbiased experiment. Hence, we decided to use the seeing light, which is a much constant luminosity instead of the sunlight, as the luminosity of the sun is greatly affected by the weather and the time of the day. Thus, we result in errors in our findings, making our experiment biased. Yes, our project works on the pro process known as photo excitation. Photo excitation is when the atoms get exposed to light, the electron gains energy and becomes in a state of higher energy level, which makes the electrons unstable. Therefore, in our project, when exposed to light, the electrons in the dye get, gets excited. As it gains enough energy, it leaves the atom and gets transferred to the semiconductor where they reached the anode. The electrons then get transferred through the circuit and then overcoming the load, which is the product which we wish to power. The regeneration of the anode dye is done by the redox electrode, which gives its electrons to the dye. The redox electrode then gets its electrons from the cathode, which has lost energy to the load and drops back to the stable energy level. The cycle then repeats itself. The redox electrolyte hence acts as a mediator between the two conducting sites. Yes indeed, if the idea of photo excitation allows our project to be able to work. Now, let's watch our animation to further illustrate our explanation. We have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Hope you understand the working principle behind our project after our explanation. Thank you.